You are still beauty when your hair is undead and your battle scars poke from your flesh. You are art even when you aren't hung up to be shown off. You are the strength of a million man army. Your spirit marching on through brokenness and trauma. The universe is thankful for you. My name is Destiny James. I am from Denmark, South Carolina, and I am a junior majoring in public health at University of Miami. A lot of people tell me that they really like my name. Like they hear it, like, what's your name? I'm like, Destiny, like, oh, your name is so pretty. And I'm always like, it's, it's Destiny, you know? I love my name. I've never dug too deep into it. I do feel that everyone's name has a meaning. Destiny is like right in your face. I was raised in a low income, single parent home. I grew up and still live in public housing. A few grocery stores, a few traffic lights, um, very, very small schools. I graduated with a class of 38 and it was predominantly black. It was one semester of each science, only four years of math and English and you just take what you get. I always had this saying when I was in middle school that you can't tell me the sky's the limit if there are footprints on the moon. We limit ourselves and we limit our students and we limit our children, but we keep telling them the sky's the limit, the sky's the limit. I applied to Harvard and I applied to University of Miami, which are my two top schools. When I got accepted to Miami, I forgot that I applied to Harvard. I'm currently studying public health. When I came to Miami, I was actually studying biology on a pre-dental track. The common misconception is that if you want to go into the healthcare field, you have to major in biology or chemistry. I hated science, but I was like, this is what I have to do because I want to do dentistry. I was miserable. I could not understand it. I didn't have the foundation. So when I came here and I'm in this big lecture hall with 250 students, if at first he keeps saying things like, you should have learned this in high school, we're moving on. I was like, okay, hold up. Something is wrong because I've never heard of any of this. I'm like, how did I just go from being a straight A student with a 4.6 GPA, one of the top of my class in high school, and now I'm failing? in my first semester of college. Two weeks after my freshman year, my father passed away. And a month after that is when I started my own cancer awareness initiative called Live to Win. And I was like, okay, this is it. Like, I want to do cancer awareness for like a career for the rest of my life. This is me dealing with my hurt. This is me grieving in like a very healthy way while helping myself and helping others. I went from being on academic probation multiple semesters over and over to being on the Dean's List and the Provost List because now I'm in a new major and now I have a passion for it and I can see where it's going. It was Super Bowl weekend and I received a phone call and she said that we want to shoot a video for a scholarship donor luncheon that we're having later this month and we want you to tell your story. We think like your story will be perfect. So I'm like, okay, great. You know, I get to tell my story and I joked, I was like, somebody may see this video and they might want to donate to me like right then and give me a scholarship or a grant like right on the spot. So this is great, I'm here for it, let's do it. She's like, Monday, four o'clock, I need you. And so we meet up and 30 minutes before she gets there, my phone starts going crazy buzzing. My friends are like, you should be, everybody should be by the student center at five o'clock. And then like Drake is going to be here recording a video. Everybody should be there so you can be in the video. And I was like, oh my God, okay, great. And then I'm like, wait. I'm waiting on someone to come and do a video. I have a prior commitment, guys. I can't do it, sorry, take pictures. So I'm bummed. I'm trying not to act sad about it because I'm excited for what I'm doing, but I'm like, it's Drake. And we're just talking about my story. She kept um, throwing subliminals saying, you know, you've done so much good and you went through a whole lot, but you stayed positive. You could have dropped out of school because of stress or not doing well in your grades, but you kept pushing. She said, God always has a plan for good people. Didn't catch it, missed it, went over my head. I told her how for the past couple of months, I've kind of just learned to be still in my situation and let life run its course and let the plan play out. And we walked over to the setup, which was this huge setup, like so many cameras. You can see all the different Escalades there, like Drake's crew. And I was like, dang, he has to be somewhere close because all the students are here. And she was like, oh my God, we have to move. They've taken our setup spot. We have to relocate. I don't know what's going on. And I was like, let's just do it here. Like we've already set up. Don't let them ruin it, you know? And so the director, she actually turned out to be the director of Drake's video, but she sat me up there and she's like, you know, just tell your story. You're gonna hear me ask you questions. Look into the camera. I know it's a lot going on, but don't look away from the camera, whatever you do. So I'm awkwardly sitting there like smiling to the camera. She's like, great, keep giving me shots. And I'm like, okay, great. And Drake walks out. And if you saw the video, I'm like crying and running in circles. And he's just standing there and he's like, so you're not gonna shake my hand? And I literally lost my mind and I was like, okay, I'm blowing my spot. I'm supposed to be doing this other video. 
Drake is here and I'm being a fangirl. Like, did I just mess up the video? And I realized then, like, this is a setup. He's telling me that I've heard your story. I've read so much about you. I want to give you $50,000 to your tuition. And I lose my mind all over again. I'm crying, I'm screaming. He was thanking me while I was thanking him. I was like, you know, you don't understand what you just, you just did for me. You just changed my life in the most amazing way. And he was saying, no, thank you for being great. Thank you for working hard and thank you for not giving up. And he told me that, you know, I'm about to go shoot my video at the student center. Come up there with me, you know, come over, come watch. So everyone's like mad and it's like, how did you get up there? I'm like, I don't know. Drake, Drake's girl now. I definitely think my life's mission and my ultimate goal came from my father's situation. It's very important that when we go through so much bad, you have to find that little bit of good. I was very depressed. I was stressed out. I was having anxiety issues. Like. I almost transferred. I had to learn to stop being so caught up in, like, yes, I'm depressed. I don't want to go outside today. I'm crying 90% of the time, but I gotta suck it up. Once I got out of that mindset of, woe is me, have pity on me, like, things started to change and things started to fall into place. I'm still the girl in the small town that feels like this is all I have. Like, the world is too big for someone as small as me. We all start somewhere. Like, we are still human, and there's so much out there, and there's so much out there for us. Us as in people who don't have a stable home. Us as in people who don't come from money. Us as in people who come from these little small towns that people would never, ever, ever look at. I could easily sit here and say, you know, oh, I feel embarrassed, or I feel ashamed because I come from a single parent home, and both of my parents weren't in the same home, and I didn't live in a big house. I've lived in public housing all my life, like so. Like, that's what I used to drive me. So if you just continue to take that negative connotation off of everything that you think could tear your life down, everything that can make you embarrassed and be proud of it, you will watch things turn around. You're awesome. <laughs>